nó đã được ngày rồi không ạ How often do you drink coffee? As a journalist, she needs one or two coffees a day. Despite a heavy workload, she's always interested in looking for new flavors and shops. For the office worker, he drinks one cup. Sometimes it can be just a beverage from a cafe. The man from South Korea prefers two or three cups with a dessert. Luckily, they're now in Shanghai. The city that has more coffee shops than any other city in the world, more than nine and a half thousand, they can easily run into an unknown to appreciate a new and special cafe. The Chinese consumer is very discerning when it comes to coffee. A wide range of choices where you can always find classics like americano and latte, and some wider combinations of coffee and fruit, tea, milk, and even soft drinks. Would you like a coffee? Is almost a reflexive question for some people. It might be a quick takeaway, or they might sit in a cafe for hours, or simply just order one online and wait for it to be delivered. Amid this wave, Coach, the luxury fashion brand, has opened its first coffee shop in China. This time, they've picked Shanghai, perhaps the most competitive coffee market in the country. It's a small shop along the vibrant East Nanjing Road, a must-go for travelers to the city. All drinks are priced as a regular cafe. What's behind this investment? Why did you decide to open your very first cafe in Shanghai, the city that already has more cafes than any other city in the world? Well, it's the fashion capital of China. It's always embracing new trends. Shanghai is also the headquarters, our Asia Pacific headquarters for our company, and very much our home here. And we have launched many new experiences for the first time in Shanghai. For example, our first runway shows in 2019 and 20, our first fully immersive digital store at Shanghai IAPM. One of the reasons we're very excited about the continuing growth potential of China is the rapidly changing consumer dynamics here, and in particular, the growth、um, and rise of Gen Z consumers. We see Gen Z consumers as caring increasingly about self-expression, emotional connection, values, not just about product and consumption. So, in seeking to connect more deeply with Gen Z consumers, we're innovating new experiential formats, going beyond traditional retail. Luxury brands opening cafes is not a new theme here in China, but you started、uh, with a very special format, like a very small shop. Why is that? It's about offering a new dimension to the retail experience and how we engage、um, our consumers here in Shanghai. And we started with. Um, a small and intimate space because we really wanted to feel about community. You are a frequent visitor to Shanghai.、So、how do you view the coffee culture in Shanghai, and is it in any way different from that in the West? The rise of coffee shop culture in Shanghai is has been incredible. Shanghai is the number one coffee culture city in the world, with nearly 10,000 coffee shops in Shanghai alone. And it's so interesting because China is the most digitally advanced culture, and yet there is this massive growth of coffee shops. And I think it really reflects consumers, particularly younger consumers, desire to engage and connect in the physical world.、And、we see the differences between、uh, the coffee shop culture in China and the U.S. Of course, there are always spaces to connect physically, but in China, coffee shops are not just places to get a cup of coffee or even places to have physical experiences. It is so much more about self-expression in China, and you see that with the proliferation of so many different customizable flavors, desserts, offerings. We often see our consumers come into the coffee shop to take selfies. Amid this global economic downturn pressure. Why do you think now is the right time to open this cafe here in Shanghai? Since opening Coach in China more than 20 years ago, we have consistently invested in the market, and we continue to see China as one of our most important growth opportunities. The market today is so dynamic, in particular due to the rise of Gen Z consumers, the accelerating purchasing power of female consumers, the continued growth. Of the middle class, we are not just talking about the coffee business itself. That dynamic, that continued growth, Silverstein mentioned, is about the consumer market, particularly the luxury goods segment. Despite consumer spending slowed down around the world, luxury brands have been doubling down their China strategies. What role does China play currently in Coach's global operation and sales? Is there any growth? Even with the economic pressures and uncertainty, we see so much opportunity and potential in China. 
But China is not just a growth market for us. We see it also as a source of inspiration for our brand globally. Because we see the ability to understand the changing Chinese consumers' needs, preferences, values, aspirations as a bit of a window onto the changing perspectives of our consumers globally. We have spent a lot of time investing and in deeply understanding our Chinese consumers and thinking about how we innovate new products, new marketing, new experiences. Gen Z have grown up in an age where social media and the rise of digital has allowed the flow of communication and friends so rapidly around the world. It's where it is so easy to communicate, make connections, form communities across markets. So we see Gen Z actually as having more similarities than any other generation. Two years ago, Coach announced that it will open 100 stores in China by 2025. How are you going towards hitting your targets? We are well on track. In the past two years, we have opened 70 Coach stores in China, and we will open another 30 stores uh, by the end of 2025. But it's not just about opening stores. We're also innovating new experiences and formats. The China market continues to change. The Chinese consumer continues to evolve. And that includes focusing on entering more regionalized markets, lower tier cities, but also innovating in these types of new experiential formats like the Coach Coffee Shop. We also have an apartment format that we opened in Nanjing. We're continuing to expand not just Coach, but also Coachtopia. Uh, which is our new sub-brand focused on circularity um, across China. We're excited by all the opportunity that still uh, is in front of us. During the conversation, Silverstein talked most about the U.S. brand's determination to stay and grow in China, reiterating multiple times the opportunity the brand's seen in the nation's Gen Z consumers. But how to invest and how to expand is not a simple decision. Competition in the consumption market is fierce, and encouraging consumers to spend is a bit of a challenge right now. To open this coffee shop is a bold move, representing a new business approach for retail. Of course, it's the city's strong coffee culture that's been attracting them to settle with this new approach. With all these new attempts, the market is in no way grinding to a halt.